okay okay i don't know if you guys can see this just spraying water on the wig it just brings back the coils like wow this wig is so soft can you see the way i'm running my fingers through it like oh my god hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is ada if this is your first time on this channel you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back so guys today's video is going to be a very exciting one i'm going to be reviewing this wig i got from this website with so many amazing reviews so if you if you're like me and you're trying to get like a 4c coil pattern of wig because i've been wanting a wig like that for a longest time and i've really not seen the one that i really like but i was able to get this 4c you know the way the 4c coil is it's very like it's smaller and it has this afro kinky kind of texture that was what i was looking for and i was able to get this one and i'm, and I'm excited to share with you guys so if that's something you're interested in keep on watching and if you are yet to subscribe and you're seeing this face for the first time i would encourage you to subscribe because we're going to be doing um beauty content on this channel a little bit of family content a little bit of lifestyle and vlogs so trust me this is where you want to be so smash the subscribe button and be a part of this family and let me open this wig so you guys can see what it looks like it came in this package from fedex so i'm just going to open it so you guys can see what it looks like right out of the box so let's jump right into the wig so right out of the package this is what the um, box looks like the name of the brand is volis vigo i'm gonna link a um I don't know if you guys can see this i'm gonna link a description of this hair in the description box but it came in this beautiful package and it says volis vigo volis vigo hair is all in and it's 100 percent human hair so i'm gonna open it right out of the box and you can see i think i got it in 20 inches yeah i got it in the 20 inches because most coily hair um tend to when it's coily, it tends of the length, you know, if it's with a straight hair, 20 inches will be like around, uh, maybe in the middle of your back, somewhere around there. But if it's a coily hair, it's probably going to be like around shoulder level and stuff like that. So 20 inches was pretty much the length I was going for. So this is what the hair looks like right out of the box. It looks, it looks, it looks amazing. Like this is the weak texture i've been looking for for the longest time so i'm just gonna take this off and see show you guys you can see it's really full i think there were two options for this week you could either get in the 150 density or 180 i think i got it in the 180 but i'm not sure but whatever every details about this week is going to be in the description box so I'm just going to put on a wig cap so I can put it on my head so you guys see what the wig looks like right out of the box. So, you can see the coil pattern that I was trying to explain to you guys. And this is what the wig pretty much looks like right out of the box. Like the hairline looks so good so i may be plucking it a little bit but i'm not sure yet i love it i love the texture of this week it is so soft and it doesn't have any smell you know how you get a new week sometime and it has this plastic smell i don't know what can whatever they package it with or maybe it's from the old chemical used to package it and stuff i don't even know but some wig has this smell this toxic smell but this one doesn't have any smell it is so soft you can see the way i'm running my fingers through it it is so soft it feels like people will force the texture air that's just how it feels like like it is so soft and so fake i love it So after cutting the wig, I like to stain the lace a little bit. So this is what the wig looks like right out of the box. So you can decide to bleach it if you want, but I don't like to go that route. So I just prefer using uh, my foundation and a foundation brush to just stain the wig, um, the lace a little bit. It just makes it look like it's tinted. You know the same results you get when you tint the wig 
um, tint the lace. That is the same thing you get with the foundation, the lace. So I'm just going to apply some foundation on the lace. So this is what the wig, um, the lace looks like after staining it with a little bit of foundation. So I'm going to just put this on my head. So I'm going to pull it back a little bit so I can apply some some got to be glue just to glue it down a little bit i really don't like to glue down my wigs because i don't sleep in my wig i pretty much put it on and take it off every single day but for the sake of this video i'm just going to glue it down uh a little bit so you guys see what it looks like so tying the wig down this is what it looks like i haven't used a comb or a brush to comb it i'm just using my finger i don't think i want to use a brush or a comb because i don't want it to get bigger than this because of the texture of the air is a kinky air so you combine it it's just going to get bigger but i know using like um spraying water on it can pretty much uh, make it look smaller but i don't think i want to use a comb on it yet so i just part the air to a side part because i love my side part so this is what the hair looks right looks like and you can see because of the foundation i put on the lace of the wig looking at the scalp it pretty much looks a little bit natural it looks like my scalp so it doesn't have the um the lace color just right out of the box i'm gonna switch the part so you can see what it looks like in the middle parts so which way do you think it looks better on me the middle part or the side part what do you guys think do you think it looks better on me on, on the middle part or it looks better when it's on the side? But I think I, I, I like it both ways. You can rock it both ways. Depends on whatever you like. But I love it. Like you can see the coil pattern. It's not like the big ones. And let me spray some water on the wig and see what it looks like. Spraying some water on it. If it's going to make any difference. okay okay i don't know if you guys can see this just spraying water on the wig it just brings back the coils like wow this wig is so soft can you see the way i'm running my fingers through it like oh my god i love it and you know what this coils does to you it just gives you this um this i don't know this natural look you know it gives you this natural look so can you tell the difference from this part i put water it automatically goes down it's not as bulky as the other side so i'm gonna finger comb this hair i'm not gonna use a comb or a brush on it um because i don't want to lose the coil pattern so i'm just gonna finger comb it with my hands with my fingers and pretty much leave it that way i didn't put anything on the hair no serums no oils or anything like that i don't like putting oils or serum on my hair i just like to leave it in the natural state i don't know i feel if you start putting all those things on the hair it makes it um tangle up and stuff like that so what do you guys think about this hair look at the side so i'm just going to spray water on the other side so you guys can see i think i like it with the water like it just looks more defined with the coils so i'm gonna pour it on the other side so you guys can see so this is what the hair looks like on the middle part um leave a comment down below tell me what you think do you think this hair suits me better in the middle part or on the side part um i pretty much like both but i think i'm gonna go with the side parts so let me just switch it back and i'll be right back. i tell you this hair is so soft like the way i'm patting it it feels like hair it feels like your real hair it is so 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 soft trust me and i finger comb the air and this is pretty much what came out from finger combing it i don't know if you guys can see this is what came out of finger combing it which it's not bad like your natural hair would cut when you comb it so this is not bad and the hair is pretty much very full so you won't be worried about it shedding and getting small it's a big hair like if you're into big hair kind of look then absolutely you would love this so 
my final thought on this hair i love this hair i love the way it looks and i like it so i think i'm gonna go with the side parts i think it suits me more but leave a comment down below tell me which one you would rock or tell me which one you think suits me better so this is what the side part look looks like and i like it i like the texture of the hair i feel it's gonna go smaller depends on how much water you put on it um pretty much if you put so much water on it it has tendency to get like to get smaller but i don't think i would like it to be smaller than this i love this full i love the way it looks big and full on my head like this so i'm pretty much going to be rocking it this way. i think i'm going to go with the side parts i can pretty much switch it to the side or to the middle whichever one looks really good but and you can see the whole difference it makes on the lace then i pretty much sprayed water on it just to um define the coils because of the coil pattern i know it's going to be nice if you can see the texture of the coil you can see the texture of the coil it is so so nice and one thing i can say about this here like right out of the box it doesn't have a smell to it and it is very very soft it feels like your natural hair it's soft like your natural hair so i love this hair and i'm glad i was able to get this one from viola's vigo virgin hair every detail of this hair is going to be in the description box so leave a comment down below tell me if you like this koi pattern and pretty much that's it for this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye